you want to sit down. But no, I'm good. Okay. And y'all are up there. Um, so again, I challenge, encourage, beg you to ask questions. I know this room fairly well. I know a lot about the history of this room. I've been here for about 13 years now, so um, I can tell you quite a bit about the history of the room and what's going on. Uh, any questions right off the bat? What's the capacity of this room? 350. That's a good question. Gold star. There you go. Woo -woo. First Make question on the pop quiz. <laughs> Show off. Uh, <laughs> this is the John Anthony Theater. Um, uh, this theater was named after the very first president of the college, Dr. John Anthony. He's a very awesome guy to know. If you ever uh, get out and want to meet him or whatever, he comes to a lot of events and a lot of uh, performances that happen in this room. Um, he was literally one of the pioneers of the college. Um, when I say pioneer, I mean he was one of the guys that said, hey, buy that plot of land over there and we're going to build a college over there. I mean, he was literally one of the first people to, you know, kind of get this school moving and, you know, get the funding and kind of uh, start this entire process. Um, so anyways, they obviously named the theater after him uh, when they began the college. I think it started and opened in about 88. Um, theater seats 350 people. That's my next uh, thing. One of the things you'll notice about the space itself, it's completely symmetrical. So uh, it's, it's a mirror in design. Everything that you see on one half exists on the other half. So if you get bored of looking at one side, you can look at the other and see the other side. Uh, yep. With it being brick, does the sound bounce off pretty good? <laughs> that was my segue to my next thing was the acoustics. So I can really talk probably at a very lower tone. Anybody having a hard time hearing me? I mean, you can hear. The acoustics in this space are fantastic. The people that designed this space really knew how to uh, reflect sound waves off of certain materials. Yeah, and the brick does play a lot of uh, a part in, in that acoustic uh, field in here. Um, the harder a surface is, the more reflective it is, so it'll reflect sound better. Um, and you can kind of see the shape of the, the walls. They're not exactly flat. They all have a curvature to them. Um, in between those doors, you'll see it's a kind of a curve shape. Um, up top in the back, the back wall is a flat wall, so that helps to reflect sound waves back here. But the big thing that's really helping that nobody really notices, all these blue acoustic panels that you see above our heads there, all those acoustic panels, again, they're kind of with a little bit of a curve to them, um, and those help to reflect the sound waves back down towards the audience, obviously where the sound really matters the most. But up here, even on stage, you can hear one another and engage in conversation, and actors can you know, whisper, or, you know, even uh, not applying to theater, you can come see a, um, maybe an acoustic guitar piece or a classical guitar thing, and, you know, if they, you know, break a string or, you know, pluck some notes on the guitar, or it's just very quiet. You can hear literally a pin drop in here. It's very, it's my first joke of the day. Oh! oh. <laughs> No way that could ever happen. Again. Oh. <laughs> no way that pin can ever. And plus, it's totally gone. It's like 15 feet down there. <laughs> we may, if we go downstairs, I'll show you where it went. <laughs> wow, that's never happened. Did you get that on video? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> never happens again. Now I got another prop. But um, all right, so we talked about the space, we talked about acoustics. Uh, questions about this direction? Anything over here? Um, we have two different um, control booths in this theater. The very high one where you see those five panels of glass, everybody's like, oh, it looks like a mirror. It's actually just, again, the glass is pitched at such an angle that it kind of looks like a mirror. It's reflecting what you see in the balcony. Um, that upper room up there is our follow spot bay. Uh, we have two of our really large, large follow spots. It's probably like as large as one of you guys. It's really long, five, six feet long. Um, and that's where, you know, if we're doing a musical or something and we want to highlight a performer and all of a sudden, you know, they pull a microphone out of their jacket and start singing and, you know, we'd be able to highlight that person. Yeah. Are they automatic or do you have to have Oh, they are human-matic. Uh, we do have some, uh, remind me in just a bit, I'll talk about our automatic or sort of intelligent lights, but no, those guys up there are um, really beefy, heavy lights that have a lamp and just kind of sit on a large stand and... They have to be human powered and uh, hand around and move like that. Well, I know those are like um, Yeah, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Well, I do. And some of these up here and there. Yeah, we've got, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 of those automated lights. 
Um, so yeah, that's the fall spot bay downstairs here, those lower portions. Kind of the room that's to the right where you see the bright sort of blonde door. Um, that's our lighting booth. Um, and then just the two windows that you see on the left, that's our sound control booth. Um, essentially in that <coughs> room, that's where our lighting operators or our sound operators would be during a live performance. Um, uh, whenever, hi, come on in. Are y'all here for the tour? Yes. No. <laughs> no, we, we just have a quick question. Are you looking for the conference center? No. But You're looking for uh, theater information? Yes. yes. Aha, I know what you need. Uh, they need the little pulp sheet from the box office. Uh, uh, y'all are on the scavenger hunt? Yeah. They don't even know they're on a scavenger hunt. They're on a scavenger hunt. <laughs> yes, uh, Shannon here will help them out, help you out. Okay. They're, I think, with the, like, the ASL, and they have to go around and, like, find things all over campus, and, like, I've already helped a couple of people. I got a quick question. 